But just to give you a quick thing about adjustable hosels. Does it change the loft of the driver by changing the setting? So if I go from 8 degrees to 12 degrees on this 9.5 degree head, if I put it down and I change it to 8 degrees, if I change it to 12, but what you're doing is when you make contact and you deliver the golf club dynamically, it'll be a different delivered loft. Does that make sense? Okay. So when they say we're changing the loft, they're not changing the loft. They're just changing the face angle. That's all they're doing. Yep. Do you find there's a difference in stability between uh, you know, blue drivers and adjustable hosels? In quality, in my opinion. In terms of like higher speed, stability through. Blue drivers perform better. The, the less things you have, it's just from an engineering point of view, I'm not an engineer, but just to think that way, the less things you have on it, the more energy transfer it's got to have. Less screws, the less hosels, all those things. If you have just one piece head, it's, it's got to it's gotta be better, I think. Yeah. So, so what does the Nike do with the dual access? Okay. So the dual access right here, so they have different loft angles on this, and then they have a different one for face angle. It's the same thing. Same thing. Is it, is it, is it, is it tailor made or any other drug? It, Just think about this. What do you think different? Well, they, like Titleist, Callaway, you can adjust the lie angle a little bit. That's what it does. But it doesn't, because let's say I take this, whatever, let's say this is a 10 degree driver. It doesn't have a loft on it because most people don't measure, right? But let's say it's 10. And I set it to 9.5 degrees on this, which means you close it a degree. Then if I open the face a degree, what did I do? Back to start. Back to zero. So you can't try to add a degree of dynamic loft and open the face, if that makes sense. So then are you changing the impact point? No, you're just back to zero. Yeah. You can't independently change, change the loft, dynamic loft and face angle. It's moving on the same axis, really. Now, you can try to do lie angle, but what did we figure out with lie angle? Is that with a driver that doesn't have a lot of loft, if you change it one degree, so if you change a lie angle one degree on this chart, look at all the lofts you have to go through to actually get one degree face change. It's got to go to 45 degrees, deliver loft. Drivers anywhere from 15 to, let's say, 20 usually. So if you're in the 15 to 20, you change a line to one degree, you're only getting a 0.27 face angle change. It's more for static. That's when the, when the club is down, so it looks a little better to a person, but it's really not affecting the face angle. Okay? So when you see the thing on the tight list, right. where they say you make the, the club more upright, it doesn't affect the ball flight really. So, so when they change the law, they go from like 8.5 to 12.5. And and yeah. I, I, I test the driver to mm -hmm. work with them. You know, the ball consistently went straight. Mm -hmm. It didn't close the club face very much because the, uh, with the Nike driver, as compared to the TaylorMade, it would really close the club face. Um, it appears that way only. It's because they have a, a different kind of paint job. They actually create a little bit of illusion so that it doesn't look like it's moving as much. It's, you, you, can, you can make things look differently just by where you put the paint. If you put the paint actually further up, that's you. That's me. Yeah. Because if you measure these, so if I go on this right here, and if I, are we okay with time? We're, we're past it, right? Yeah, food's late, so keep going. Okay. So, <laughs> so let's say I take this one right here. It's set at, so the reason why I make sure that I put this on square with a face angle square, because that's where you're pretty much hoping that you return the club. Okay, so relatively square, right? So then based on that, I'm trying to measure where the center of the face is, not the center of gravity point, the center of the face is. This driver right now from my eyes, again, there's, there's going to be a plus minus because it's human error. From my eye right here, this is eight and a half degrees. Okay, that's kind of where I play my driver because I hit up on about three degrees. So I'm able to take an eight and a half, hit up on a three, lower the spin. So now if I take this, this is actually pretty cool. So I actually have a chart on all these clubs, how much, how much face angle they really change or how much loft they really change. So I don't go by what they tell me. I go by how they work. Make sense? So now I'm going to change this to, now by the way, that eight and a half was actually a nine and a half degree setting. So this driver really is not the loft. 
It's actually less lofty, so it goes a little lower. But every manufacturer's got that. It's not a bad of one company. You just can't make everything exactly the same. You know, you make 100,000 drivers, you're going to have some that are off. The less clubs you make, the better quality control you're going to have. So now, I change the hosel setting. So it changes the face angle, but at impact, what we're doing here is now it's set it square. So now I added a degree of loft on that tip. And it is nine and a half. So it actually moved the dynamic loft because again, that's when you square the face. It did change it a degree of loft. Now though, I want to have this loft at nine and a half but I want to have an open face angle to that nut. Okay? So I'm going to change it from there and I'm going to set it. I'm going to open the face because I want it to look a little bit open, but I want it to play at that nine and a half. So I'm going to change that face angle setting. Let's see what happens. Now, believe me, this isn't a knock on a company at all. This is just telling you how these, how these tips work. Okay? They're all the same. They all work in the same direction. So now, I took that and I changed the face angle. So now I opened it up and that driver is eight and a half degrees. Make sense? So it's not the one degree higher with an open face when you hit the ball. You just went back to start. Having a big discussion with them. The fact that, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not how it works. Right. Does that make sense? You're moving it this way, then you're moving it back that way. You move it this way, you move it back that way. It only changes the face angle because lie angle cannot affect the, the face angle enough because it's the driver.